There's many excellent helicopters in the world, but that leaves us with the question, which are the best? Here, we'll explore everything from Boeing's first to the Huey and beyond. Strap on your seatbelts, keep your hands and feet inside at all times, and get ready for greatest helicopters ever. 11. Bell UH-1 Iroquois This bad boy is a Vietnam legend and may be more familiar to you by its nickname, the Huey. It was a groundbreaking machine which became popular to service members and civilians alike as it became highly associated with the war in Vietnam and in pop culture. More than 16,000 Hueys have been built for both military and civilian use. Production of the vehicles continues today with the civilian model Bell 412 and the military's take, the UH-1Y. Its first flight came on October 20th, 1956, and it quickly met the requirements of the military's need for an instrument trainer slash medical evacuation slash general utility sky vehicle. It became the military's first ever turbine-powered helicopter and won the right by beating out 20 competing designs. The nickname Huey comes from the helicopter's original designation, HU-1, and it became so popular that Bell began putting Huey on the vehicle's anti-torque pedals. It forever won a place in the hearts of Americans, and it will be a helicopter that doesn't have a chance at being forgotten to time. 10. Bell 206 Jet Ranger This famous civilian chopper took its first flight on December 8, 1962. In the West, it's one of the most popular helicopters and appears all over the skies, in newspapers, in films, and on TV for the last 56 years. It was widely used by TV news crews back in the day, as well as with celebrities for quick trips between events, and it quickly became a really popular corporate helicopter. It was initially designed as a light observation helicopter for the military, but quickly became known for its applications in the civilian world. The redesigned 206A, which was larger than the original 206, first flew in 1966, and by 1973, more than 1,000 had been sold to civilian aviators. The Navy had also chosen it to be their new training helicopter, and the Army had selected it as the newest observation chopper. It's still popular today, and more than 7,300 have been produced. 9. Bell 47 Oh man, it's the helicopter from the opening scenes of M.A.S.H. It's also the first helicopter that was certified to be used by civilians, although it did see some service action in Korea and subsequent wars and was called the H-13 Sioux. It made its first flight on December 8, 1945, but was later approved for civilian use in 1946. Arthur M. Young designed the Bell Model 30, which was later used as the basis for the Bell 47, both of which used a Franklin or Lycoming six-cylinder piston engine. The cool thing about the Bell 47 was its adaptability. It had some 18 variants of the helicopter, serving as things like crop dusters all the way up to lunar landing trainers for none other than the Apollo program. KTLA, a TV news program in Los Angeles, leased a Bell 47 in 1958, and they used it for the first scheduled television news flight, transmitting video from the vehicle. Today, more than 1,000 of the 5,600 manufactured are still considered airworthy. 8. Sikorsky R4 Igor Sikorsky, a legend of aircraft design, came up with this helicopter, and it became the first mass-produced helicopter ever. It was based on his VS-300 prototype and ended up becoming the blueprint for conventional helicopters we see today. It set the standard for a single lifting rotor and single tail rotor configurations of most helicopters. It was first shown off to the public in 1940 and made its first flight on January 14, 1942. The US Army also accepted it into their fleet in 1942 and ended up doing things most never even pictured being done. The R-4 set what are some of the most important helicopter records, including a cross-country flight where it flew 761 miles at a top speed of almost 90 miles per hour. It also reached a service ceiling record of 12,000 feet on the flight and earned its place in helicopter history. 7. Mill Mi-8 July 7, 1961, was the first time the first ever Mi-8 transport helicopter flew, and that's where the journey to becoming the most produced helicopter in the world began. This thing is and was so popular that it's still being made today, totaling numbers of more than 17,000. Roughly 80 different countries still use the chopper today, and it was rumored to be inspired by Nikita Khrushchev's visit to the US in 1959. He was allowed to take a ride in the presidential helicopter, which was, at the time, a Sikorsky S-58. 
Khrushchev apparently liked it so much that he ordered a similar helicopter be built before a visit to President Eisenhower. The Mi-8, when finished, could carry up to 12 stretchers or 24 soldiers at a time. However, the Soviet military didn't show much interest in the craft at first. Then, when Vietnam showed what value rotary wing aircraft possessed, they changed their minds, and the Mi-8 was rushed into production. It's used for many different things today and is one of the most produced aircraft in the world. 6. Bell AH-1 Cobra One staple of an advanced military is having a force in the air, and attack helicopters are a force which cannot be reckoned with. But it wasn't until Vietnam that a purpose-built attack helicopter, the AH-1 Cobra, was produced and used in numbers. In the early 60s, the Army created Air Cavalry Brigades, which required a good attack copter that the AH-1 helped to provide them. In 1962, Bell showed the Army a light attack design, the D-255 Iroquois Warrior, although it wasn't selected. That didn't stop Bell from working on the design, though, and by 1965, the Army was looking for an interim gunship for Vietnam, and they got it with the Cobra. It made its first flight on September 7, 1965, and was one of the first helicopters with a fighter jet-like setup, with tandem seating for the pilot in the front and the gunner in the back. The Cobra made its action debut during the Tet Offensive in 1968, and proved its worth more than once in its first bout with war. It's inspired many designs for other attack helicopters around the world, and remains in service today. 5. Boeing CH-47 Chinhook This beautiful vehicle is known for its role as a tactical lift helicopter, and it has two rotors, one on the front and one on the back. The rotors measure 60 feet in diameter, and they rotate in opposite directions, which eliminates all need for a tail rotor and helps to counteract torque. The rotors can be adjusted individually, and that helps when adding or removing weight, as it's less sensitive to center of gravity changes. This awesome copter was developed sometime in the late 1950s, and took its first flight on September 21, 1961. It then saw action in Vietnam, where it would take heavy artillery to otherwise inaccessible positions and fly tons of troops in and out. It's also the third fastest helicopter in the world and can fly at up to 196 miles per hour. It's versatile and has done many fantastic things since it made its appearance in the world. 4. Sikorsky UH-60 Blackhawk In the late 1960s, the U.S. Army was looking to find a replacement for the UH-1 Iroquois, and that's when Sikorsky came up with the S-70. The S-70 was a twin-engine design they put out as the YUH-60A for the Utility Tactical Transport Aircraft System Program. It first flew on October 17, 1974, and won out over Boeing's YUH-61A in a flying competition. It was then redesigned as the UH-60 Blackhawk and began service in 1979 as the Army's new utility and assault helicopter. The Navy was also interested in the design and entered the SH-60B into the fleet in 1978. More than 4,000 have been produced as of today and are used by many armies around the world. They gained worldwide attention and fame from the 2001 movie Black Hawk Down. 3. Westland Lynx Remember how we talked about the Hue? Well, this was Britain's response to that, and it was manufactured in the late 60s as the WG-13. The venture into developing the chopper was once a shared thing between the French and the British, but it eventually developed to just being a British effort for the naval attack program. It made its first flight on March 21, 1971, and it quickly showed off what it could do due to its special main rotor design. Not only did it set a speed record of 199.9 miles per hour in 1972, but it could also perform things like rolls and loops, and it handled a lot like a fixed-wing aircraft. It then debuted in the British Navy and Army service in the late 70s, and in 1986, a modified version of the Lynx helicopter set another speed record by achieving the incredible speed of 249 miles per hour. 2. Mill Mi-26 This helicopter is enormous and has made its name as the world's biggest production helicopter, which just goes to show Russia's love of big things. It was first designed in the 1970s as a heavy lift transport for various military equipment. It also sees civilian service as things like an aerial firefighting vehicle and an outsized freight mover. It has an eight-blade main rotor that spans 105 feet in diameter, and its tail rotor is roughly the size of the main rotor of an MD-500 light helicopter. It also has a payload of 44,000 pounds and holds the record for the greatest mass carried up to 2,000 meters high. 
it carried 125,153 pounds up to the elevation on a flight in 1982. It was even once used to lift an MH-47E Chinhook helicopter, which is a considerable helicopter itself, from a mountain in Afghanistan. We've seen a lot of fine machinery so far, and we still have one more left to go. But first, we'd love to ask you, what's your favorite flying machine ever built? Did it make our list, or is it something we should take a peek at in the future? We'd love to read your answers in the comments below. 1. Eurocopter X3 This awesome hybrid helicopter combines a conventional old main rotor as you see on traditional helicopters with two stub wing mounted propellers. This helps to provide more forward thrust, and each of the propellers on the wings has a different pitch, which works to counteract the torque of the main rotor and add directional stability. The Eurocopter X3 holds the record for fastest speed flown by a helicopter, as it flew at 293 miles per hour while at 10,000 feet in 2013. This helicopter is quick and good looking, and we're sure to see more of it in the future. If this video got you all fired up and wanting to take a ride in the skies, do us a huge favor and leave a like. Subscribe to our channel below or by clicking on the logo right here on this screen so that you never miss any of our excellent uploads. And take a gander at this next video that we've hand-selected just for you.